If you want to run profitable Google ads for your e-commerce business, you need to know how to set up a Google Merchant Center account. The Merchant Center will make sure that your products will appear in the free as well as on the paid placements that Google Ads has to offer. I've done this process already over 100 times for my Google Ads clients. So I know for a fact that this is the best and the easiest way to create your Merchant Center account. By watching until the end of this video, I will make sure to teach you exactly how you can set up your Google Merchant Center account and connect it to Shopify later down the line and scale your Google Ads to the next level with a solid Merchant Center foundation. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into my screen. So the very first thing we need to do is to go to merchants.google.com. I will leave a link for you in the description so you can go straight to there and save you some time. So now that we are on the Merchant Center page, we click here on the blue button, start now. And then we need to answer a few basic questions that Google has to ask us. Do you sell products online? Yes, we do. And then they ask us to copy and paste the URL. So we do so. And for this store, it's just an e-commerce store. So we don't have a physical store. Then we press continue. And here we do everything manually in order to make sure that Google has the best data possible. So we click continue to Merchant Center. Then we scroll all the way down to see what is under the drop down menu. For now, we don't need to create a Google Ads account. We will do that later. So we can press continue to Merchant Center. And now we need to copy and paste the business name uh, from the website right here. And the registration country of this company is actually in Hong Kong. So make sure to implement your registration uh, country for your company as well. And then we press continue to Merchant Center. So now we just need to wait a moment until the Merchant Center account is fully loaded. And now the Merchant Center account is fully loaded. Actually, we need to follow a four-step process that I will guide you exactly how to provide the right information in your Merchant Center account. So the first step is to implement your company details. So for that, we go in the left menu here to business information. Then we implement uh, this added business details. And then we need to copy and paste the information from this business in the Merchant Center account. And we need to make sure that the country is set up correctly as well, because the country is the only thing we cannot change in the Merchant Center account. So be sure that that's correct. Uh, then we just hit save. Then we scroll down a little bit and we need to copy and paste the contact page URL from the website in the Merchant Center. And we also need to implement the email. A quick side note right here, all the information that I implement here comes directly from the front end of your business. So make sure to implement that on your website as well so Google can recognize all the information in the Merchant Center. Then we can implement the phone number. The phone number is actually optional, but it's quite important nowadays for extra trust in the eyes of the Google Merchant Center. So I highly suggest that you get a phone number and are actually available on this phone number as well. And then for the preferred contact method, I always select email. And then we hit save. And now we go to step number two already, which is claiming the domain name. So to go ahead, you press X on the left top here. Then we go to claim your online store. And then we can see that we have several options. So for the easiest option, you can go to send the uh, verification code to your email, uh, or you can prefer to implement an HTML code to your website. So to go ahead and choose the easiest option, I will go for uh, get the verification code on the email. So now we simply paste the code that we got from the email and then press verified store. So now we can see that everything is verified here. And then we can already move to step number three, which is implementing the shipping method in your Google Merchant Center account. So to go there, we go here in the left menu for shipping. Then we press here the blue button, get started. Then we implement the right countries that this partner is going to sell to, which is United States and Canada. Then we implement the name of this shipping policy. So I implement USA plus Canada. And we select them both. Then we select all products right here. Press continue. So then we press the cut off time for this uh, fulfillment center, which is 10 p.m. And then European time, central European time. And then we implement the handling days, which is one to two days, Monday to Friday. And then we press the shipping days. So it will be five to seven days. Important side note right here, make sure to implement the information that you implement here for this shipping information in the Merchant Center on your front end of your website as well. Then currency for this uh, shipping policy is US dollars. Uh, they actually have free shipping available. So make sure to select that. 
then we press save and then we press done so now we continue to step number four which is implementing the refund information in the merchant center account to go ahead and do so you press here refund policies then you press here add return policy and then you copy and paste the url from your website in the merchant center we select both countries we accept return for defect and non-defective products and yes we accept exchanges as well so now we press next uh, so the return window is actually 30 days after delivering so we implement 30 days for new products only we only accept returns by mail and for the currency we do usd uh, the return label is actually included in the package for this partner so leave it as it is uh, there are no restocking fees and it will take and from the moment the return is actually received it will take the partner 10 days to get the money back to the customer if they res return the product so then we press next then we scroll all the way down we accept the checkbox right here and double check if information uh, what we implemented here is true and also implemented on your return page on your website uh, so now we press save and quick side note right here uh, you can see the status of the return policy uh, in one or two days when a merchant center employee is going to check your website and all information that you implemented in the policy right here is visible on the front end of your website in the return policy uh, you will get accepted right here and if it's not synchronized uh, you will be rejected right here and make sure to double check the settings you implement that as well to fix it before you even launch your google ads so now if we go to the overview uh, we implemented all four steps and there is one more step left that i'm going to explain for you in the recommendation video so now that you set up your merchant center account successfully make sure to check the recommendation video after this where i explain you step by step how you can connect your merchant center account to shopify so all the products you have in your shopify store will be imported successfully in your google merchant center account and if you need any help with launching and scaling your google ads profitably make sure to click the link in the description where you can book a call with me to audit your situation and to see if we are the right partner to scale you to your desired goals with google ads i see you there